Welcome to this tutorial video about soldering the Quinn LED Deca. In this video, we start with these components and end up with a finished board like you see here. All information about this Wi-Fi LED dimmer, including components and PCBs, can be found on quinled.info. Alright, let's get started. First off, we take a PCB and clean off the mouse bite pads. Then, we start with soldering some pin headers to our voltage converter. Some pads on the Quinn LED are connected to voltage planes, so you need to sink in some heat to get a good soldering joint. Remove the voltage converter, we won't need it until later. Then we start preparing the pads for all the resistors. One capacitor and one diode. I do this with a soldering iron in the video, but using a hot air gun and paste is much easier. Using a magnifying glass is sometimes needed to identify the polarity of the diode. Next, we're going to put on the resistors and the capacitor, and these don't have a polarity. Here I'm soldering the angled pin headers where you can connect extra GPIO devices to the board using simple DuPont cables. Once done, we move on to soldering the socket header and the ESP board pins. To do this, we assemble them together in the board. This way it aligns itself and you don't have to worry about soldering them on incorrectly.
When the solder doesn't want to do what you want it to do, adding a little bit of flux can always help. Once done, the ESP32 module can be removed while soldering the rest of the board. Here I made a soldering order error. The voltage converter should be soldered on after the screw terminals. Although it can be done this way, it's not advised anymore. Adding the screw terminals is simple. Just stick them in the holes pointing outward, and then solder them to the board. I use different colors to differentiate different functions. Ok, let's connect the board to power to set the voltage converter. If you haven't soldered it on yet, you can also choose to solder on the Dallas temperature sensor first. In earlier revisions this was a problem and should be done after setting the voltage converter, but this has been fixed in revision 5. Okay, let's set the voltage output to 5 volts.
soldering on the tiny Dallas sensor can be hard. That's why I check with a magnifying glass if the solder pads haven't joined together. Nice, the last step is to solder on the MOSFETs. And your Quinn LED DECA board is done. Remember, check out quinnled.info for a lot more information and also for all the components you need, PCB boards, and even links to the tools you might need. This board is ready for programming. Remember, disconnect your power supply before connecting the USB cable to the ESP module. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.